Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to be talking about Ghost in the Shell 2017. Um, and this is a spoiler, this, this content is spoiler free. Uh, and what I'm going to be talking about today is um, me talking directly to the community of movie reviewers out there that panned or gave a meh um, review to Ghost in the Shell 2017. So the reason I am uh, talking today, so this, everything I'm about to say, this goes out to the large community of movie reviewers out there who gave Ghost in the Shell a bad review or said that this movie was okay, which is, I think, the vast majority of reviews out there. And the reason why I'm taking the time to say this today is I, uh, you know, people can mock me for this, but I I am a huge movie fan, and, and I was saddened by what happened this weekend. I think this is, you know, Ghost in the Shell 2017 made $19 million domestic, $40 million um, international on the weekend on the weekend it released. It came in third to The Boss Baby and Beauty and the Beast on its opening on its opening weekend. It was commercially a failure. And I really believe that was because uh, the community of print jur- of the print community of print journalists, community of YouTuber, you know, a large a large number of old media print journalists, uh, a large number of YouTube movie reviewers, a large number of um, traditional media movie reviewers said that. Ghost in the Shell 2017 was a bad movie or said that it was an, an average, okay, meh film. And there were very few good reviews. Now, my review of this film is it is a five out of five star movie. It is by far the best live action movie that's ever been made. It's by far the best Scarlett Johansson film that's ever been made. It's by far the cy- best cyberpunk film that's ever been made. Um, it, it's, it is just, in my opinion... Uh, you can't really say that art is objectively good. It is, of course, subjective. But this, I really believe, approaches objective quality. And, um, and I was just stunned when it was just mauled by, you know, a large portion of movie reviewers out there. And so I'm speaking directly to movie reviewers. And what, I, what, what I'm saying is that Scarlett Johansson saw this film... And Scarlett Johansson has been working in the industry for a long time. Uh, she did Lucy re- recently, and, and that movie did well, and that was all on her own. You know, that movie rested on her star power. But, of course, she plays Black Widow in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And by playing Black Widow in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it has given her capital to make the kind of movies she wants to make in Hollywood. She has choices. She can choose between different roles. And she chose to do this movie, putting off other projects and and working hard to make this movie and to be faithful to the character and to bring this iconic anime story to life and put it on a global platform. And, uh, And what I'm saying is that if you watch this movie and you said that's a bad movie or that's an average movie or a man movie or an okay movie, what I'm saying is that you're not you're not recognizing that we are in a time where women led you know movies where a strong female protagonist is the lead in an action film is still rare and that when we watch these movies we need to have an open mind and try to see what the actress who's come to that role is trying to do and I think Scarlett Johansson approached this film with a lot of respect brought forward an incredible performance and she is trying to do something in modern film where she's trying to say you know a female a strong female protagonist can lead an action film and if you're a viewer out there and you couldn't see past the small things you didn't like in the film to see that this was an histor- a historically important film then I really am asking you to really check again how you're re- reviewing movies. And when you come to a film, you need to think of it from a, a, a... You need to think about that film from a historical perspective. Yes, these are, are entertainment, 
but there, you know, this impacts our society and our culture in different ways. And there was a lot to be gained by the success of this of this film. What we lost because of the reviews that came out is we lost the live action anime wave. Instead, we're going to get the live action fairy tale wave. It's not a trade I wanted. And then, uh, in addition to that, we're going to lose the Black Widow. We're absolutely going to lose the Black Widow film now, which is is sad. And and also, this is going to set back strong female protagonist led action films, um, which I think it's it's good if we have more of those. And now, thanks to the reviews that have come out for this film, which I think were uninformed and, in my opinion, um, unfair. Uh, it's going to set us back a long time on strong female protagonist-led action films. So again, to the community of reviewers out there, movie reviewers out there, that looked at this film and said, meh, okay, average, or bad, I really ask you to think again how you are approaching reviewing films. Thank you.